Hi everybody, this is If Yarn Could Talk with Vicki and Asia. Hello. I'm Vicki, I'm the owner of Island Yarn, and this is my daughter Asia. That's me. She handles our, all our social media and all that jazz. All that jazz. All that jazz. <laughs> yeah, so we're joining you today on a very pollen field afternoon, so I will try not to be sneezy and coffee and rubbing my eyes. How are you guys doing with pollen? It's lovely. It's torture. Yeah, it's like, everybody who has a dark car, aka me and most of the population. It doesn't even have to be dark. Mine is also yellow. It's just so gross. It's so gross. It's so gross. Oh, and what was really nice was that I went um, to see my, my, my best friend today. And um, when I got there, I was like, oh, look at how nasty my car is. She was like, oh, my car has petals on it. And it was just like, you know, delicate little white petals from the trees that are around her house. I was like, well, lucky you. <laughs> what does she have a graced car? What was, what was that about? I don't know. No pollen with it. I mean, I didn't look that close, oh, but okay. Well, it certainly maybe, wasn't maybe she's as, doing uh, some witchcraft on her car. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. So hmm, speaking of sniffling, anyway, what you working on today, Asia? I think at some point, I was saying that I was doing this, but we're back to laptop sleeve. Oh, I thought that was the stuff you were using for Mooney's mattress. Am I wrong? No. Oh, right. That was the silk garden, right? Yes. Ah. This is just some stuff. This is some stuff. <laughs> uh, but there, I have a good amount of it, so. Yeah. Nice. It's not that, like, you know, comfy, but that's why I thought it would be good for a bag. A bag. And it's it seems sturdy and thick, so I think it'll be good for um, laptop. I even think it might be wool, so I could also potentially felt it, but then my laptop probably wouldn't fit in it anymore. So. I feel like it's super wash wool, but I might not know exactly what you have there, so... I don't know. <clears throat> could be wrong. We shall see. Um, I also... But I did actually finish something this week. Something yeah. that is much probably anticipated. Anticipated. Um, and it was kind of the perfect time to finish it. Technically, it's not finished because it's supposed to be like, you know, the whole thing. And the whole thing is not done. But we are halfway there. And we'll see about the other half. Um, but what we have finished this week is I made my top, finally, with the... The Provence is finally done after many, many, many variations and ripping outs and such. And it's still a little too big, but we can fix that. It's really cute on her. And it's, yeah, it's really nice. It's, it's pretty cute off, but it's so much cuter on you. It's shocking. Yeah, it's like, it's got an, well, I'll insert a little picture. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's just got, like, a nice amount of, like, fabric on it. I used a very interesting stitch for the straps that I just like saw on Instagram one day. It's called the mattress stitch, I believe. Um, and it just makes for like very sturdy um, straps. And I would say that they are quite sturdy. Um, and I got a lot of compliments when I went to um, a, a pride event in Connecticut last week. So awesome. yeah. I'm working on one of our new, um, so this coming tutorial is going to be the new thing that I actually said like last time I was going to do, but I realized I wasn't quite ready to make it all go because it's um, a brioche Mobius thing that I kind of invented. So um, I think I'm ready to go now. This will be one of the patterns. This probably won't be one of the first ones I release, but I'll show you the first one. Because this is just the basic one so that you can like get used to the cast on and doing brioche all Mobius-y. Isn't that cool? Because, you know, the thing about it is brioche is reversible. And so sometimes when you make a cowl or something, it's nice and squishy because brioche is squishy. But you don't actually see the other side. But if you do it as a Mobius, then you see both the sides. So it's like all your work really pays off there you go yeah and so i keep thinking i might redo this one because i was kind of using the wrong size needle well, whatever you know they were the ones that were do. close to me yeah they were the ones that were close to me when i was just 
I actually did this like eight months ago and I wrote it all down and then I was like, oh, I better make sure it really works. And so I just cast this on to sort of make sure it really works. And it did, but I didn't use a rain needle. <laughs> so I might remake it and have another one in the picture. But this will be the first one out and the tutorial will be the cast on for doing brioche as Mobius. Ooh, scientific. Yeah, scientific. And then I have a couple other sneak previews. So this is kind of a sneak preview, but since it's still on the needle, it's relatively impossible to see what's going on. This one actually combines double knitting and brioche, which I've always kind of wanted to do because when I describe brioche to people and they go, oh, what's brioche? Is it bread? I say yes, but yes. it's also... <laughs> It's also, you know, this cool, it's usually a brioche rib these days or, you know, one of the stitch patterns from uh, the brioche book. Um, but brioche is just kind of a textural double knit. So I kind of always wanted to see how it would work with double knitting. So as you can see, it's also completely reversible. So anyway, this one will be, you'll see that one later. Here's another one. I didn't weave in the ends of this one yet. This one I think is really pretty. Oh yeah, that one is really nice. It's very foresty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. This, don't these just look like little like pine needles and yeah, this one's really pretty. Um, this one will not align exactly. I mean, because sometimes they just can't based on like the reversibility of the pattern, but um, it's still really pretty and the join is going to be shh, so. So I probably didn't even need to tell you that, but that's a thing that as a designer tweaks you, but then you're like, well, are people going to do the crazy thing you would have to do to make that happen? They're not. You would all be so mad at me. So yeah, that is that one. There this one is actually my favorite because this one just came out absolutely perfect. And I just kind of like, this wasn't from, this wasn't a stitch pattern from the book, which I really like the stitch patterns in the book, but you know, I also like to just invent things. So there's this one. Ah! Isn't that one so cute? Yes. This is so pretty. I know. Look at it. It's purple and pretty. Yeah. And pretty and purple. This and I like the little scalloped edge. Is that what you would call that? I don't know exactly. Yeah. It's not exactly I mean, scalloped, the but. stitch pattern itself sort of achieves it. So it's really interesting because the way the increases and decreases work, the Mobius cast on is this zigzaggy part in the middle. Isn't that so cool? Hmm. So this one is really cool too. And yeah. then there's this one and there will probably be more. But the first video will just be the cast on to get y'all guys all used to it. There you go. So yeah, that's all coming soon. Oh, oh and we have the winner of our woven scarf. So the winner is of our woven scarf is Dora. Dora. She's also the one who left a comment about the cable cast on for the chickens, which we did a video on. So Yay. go check that out if you're making chickens and you're like, what is a cable cast on? Yep. So yeah, I'm actually still going to trim the fringe before I see her, but all done. She's going to get this nice scarf. And actually, I kind of think these are her colors. I know her. Nice. Yeah. So maybe not though. I don't know. tend who... to go more red. I mean, it's very pretty, so I don't. Yeah, it could go with so many things, too. It's kind mm -hmm. of denim -y and yeah. Yeah. My precious. So congratulations. Congratulations, Dora. That was that was a fun little contest. You guys left some good ideas yeah. for um, videos. So that's good. That'll keep me going every time I have a week where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'll just check your list. And mm -hmm. there we go. And if you guys ever have, like, other ideas, you don't, it doesn't... You can just comment them. Yeah, you, know? you can comment. Anytime. We'll probably do another little thing about um, with like some other giveaway type things. But um, you know, if you have a a pressing thing that you would like to know what, how to do, let us know. You might see it in the upcoming weeks. You might. You might. You might. Um, so we did have a little bit of new stuff in the store this week. It's summer, so, like, it's not the time when we get, like, loads of new stuff in, but it is also the time when I can sort of make things, so there was some nice new Mad Balls. Ooh. This one is 544. This is sort of wrapping up my Jewel Tony one, although Sad. I'm just sort of morphing it. Like, a lot of times when I finish a batch, I just... 
clean out the bin and start a whole new batch. But mm-hmm. this one, I don't know. There was something just pretty about it. So instead, I'm just sort of like adding more yarn to it. But that means it's morphing into a new, a little less jewel tony. But I think quite a like ruby red. Ooh, sort of, yeah. Yeah, it's I think, very I think pretty. that's where it's headed. We'll find out. It's time for fiery things now that it's almost... Um, now that it's fire outside. <laughs> yeah, now it's fire outside. Also, almost Leo season. Leo season, right? Well, I think we, we still got to go through cancers. Not to, you know... Poor cancers. <laughs> I'm a Leo, though, so, you know, <laughs> Got two fire signs. What are you gonna do? We. These are also. I think I mentioned to you guys that I was dyeing some wools for needle felting. Oh so yes. That you could do some fun needle felting. So these are just a few of them. I wasn't gonna bring home. Like, they look all, like, like cotton 30. candy. I know, don't they? Isn't it hilarious? So you can come get your cotton candy and needle felt with it. <laughs> don't eat it though. Don't I eat. Mean, it. Also, don't eat cotton candy. It's so gross. <laughs> so nasty. Yeah, but if you haven't seen it, I do highly recommend the video of the raccoon trying to wash off. The cotton candy. Just <laughs> That's funny. From from me to you, oh, I this, recommend. This this isn't a new thing, but I did want to remind you, since it's Pride Month, that we have Pride these month. Awesome Happy Pride Month! Rainbow cakes. So if you want to make something rainbowy for yourself for Pride or for somebody you love mm-hmm. to show. Yep, I think that I might be making a couple just like quick little things i'm going to pride on um boston on that's going to be on saturday it won't be it'll be of yesterday it'll be yesterday um, yeah <laughs> it will be yesterday it will Sunday. be yesterday <laughs> sunday um but i think that i might um make a couple quick little additions so um yeah it'll be fun and yeah. those will be those are really good yeah, or stuff like that. Yeah, they are. They're so fun. Also, um, like last year, I remember we got the coastal cotton in around the same time, and that stuff has a really yeah very big ray rain- of color, rainbowy palette. Yeah, and yeah. also cumulus is having a lot, a lot, a That's lot of true. new colors. So definitely check out some. Yeah, and those stuff. are all like nice cottony yarns for summer, so you don't even have to worry about being like, oh, it's too hot to knit because. I know you're all in the AC, hiding from the pollen, so yeah. <laughs> might as well. Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit. So, the only other thing I wanted to mention, I think, before we tell you silly stuff, is um, this is our new featured pattern. This is the Dragon Scales original shawl. It's made with Louisa Harding Amatola. Mm-hmm. It's so, so, so fun. And Amatola is very lightweight, so it's perfect for this time of year. Yeah. And there's, I put up seven, I think seven new color sets. Mm-hmm. Does that sound right to you? Yep. Yeah. You were editing the picture, so she knows. I know. <laughs> yeah, and they're all, they're all quite pretty. So make sure you check that out during, what month is this? During June. June. Right <laughs> June. Yes, it's June. It's June. Uh, okay. This year's going by fast. Or slow. Who knows? It depends on the day. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we... But during June, you get 200 bonus points when you get a Dragon Scale Shawl kit. Mm-hmm. So make sure you pick up one of those, because it's very fun engaging. It, it looks really hard, but it's really not. And I've had everyone tell me that. It's not like, I'm I'm such a good knitter that I say that. It's like beginners tell me that. People who looked at it and said, oh, I could never do that. They tell me that. So, so definitely give it a try. It's really fun. So pretty, too. It is pretty. Also, you know, if you want to... Use a little, I mean, it's not, I guess, really, really dragon scales, but you know, Ren Fair season is here, is upon us essentially. Oh, yeah. Dragon scales. Haha. That. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Good yep. idea. So, the other thing we are going to talk about today, because we've had a couple times now of getting to talk about like fun recycling crafts, kind of. It mm-hmm. wasn't actually our intention for it to be the theme, but. I think because we're fairly recycly, it's sort of becoming the theme. Yeah. Yeah. And you know how we've uh, looked through those fun old work basket magazines that I have? Yeah, we're calling them fun. Yeah, they're fun. I love them. They um, scare me. That's why I have like probably well over a hundred of them because I think they're really hilarious. But 
I was, we were looking through and I actually found something that I thought was so cute. So I'm just going to show you and maybe we'll do one. It sort of depends on Chloe and how involved she wants to be because it's not really something for her to be involved with. But anyway, it's these adorable little boxes. No. Look how cute this is. So this was put together. This was in their classic column, Women Who Make Sense. You know, I think you may remember the one I read out about somebody making lemonade pictures out of bleach bottles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so uh, most of them are to be avoided, but I thought this was super cute. And it was sort of being sold as a lunchbox, which I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what kind of lunch you would be putting in there, but... But I think it definitely could be a very cute little project project case. Like, you could have a sock in here for sure. It's definitely a great little gift box, right? Yeah, for sure. Like, I mean... Soaps? Little soaps, little scented candles. Jewelry? Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell or show you how to make one. I also made um, another one with some purple on it. <laughs> and then today at the store, just so you know, they don't have to all be the same size. I made another one. <laughs> Great. Yeah. See, so now there's like a, <laughs> we're creating the pyramids. That's what's going on. Oh, I see. Did aliens help you make these? Um, Could have been. Could have been. Yeah. Maybe so, they designed them. So it's actually a great way to recycle cardboard because, you know, our lives are inundated with cardboard. Yes, lots of boxes. With all the boxes. And though the cats like them, like, it's just preposterous how many boxes you can have sitting around your house. Yeah. Um, so what you do is you cut yourself an equilateral triangle. Here's one right here. <laughs> That's a triangle. That's a triangle, yep. And then, out of whatever cardboard, just make sure it's like corrugated cardboard. And then you want to make little notches like at the halfway points and then connect those. And so you put a halfway point on all sides. And then you score that to make another little internal triangle, another little equilateral triangle. I'm just kind of going to eyeball it because I didn't make the marks and uh, I believe... Asia might get over my lack of brains at some point if I don't um, move it along. <laughs> so I'm just going to eyeball this one. Uh, you know, yep. in true Aries fashion, I'm just going to eyeball it. Exactly. Yep. So you just score it to make this little internal triangle. I think that's pretty good. We love cardboard origami. Yeah, it is cardboard origami. And you just make sure you don't cut through the whole thing. You want to leave the cardboard sort of intact. Just cut through that first layer. Let's see where I was. Over here. Okay. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. This is definitely not quite right, but, you know, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> it's better to measure. <laughs> what? You would never believe an Aries would say such a thing, would you? Yeah, I've never, I don't know about that. Who are you? <laughs> so you can do a little test run and make sure they fold up. Like, see, this one is totally going to be off kilter. I might redo this one off the air. <laughs> this one's off kilter. Anyway. So then you cover it in like contact paper. I actually thought though that you could totally cover it with cloth if you did want to use it as like a little project tote. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be cute? Yeah, I mean it would be kind of handy, you know, like this ball is rolling around. Shove yeah. that in there. Boop a doop. Right. Yeah. Have and the yarn can... sticking out, you know. Yeah, and you could even close it up a little if you wanted to contain it so your cat couldn't, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you could even you could even like glue a little like a little tiny, tiny little hook. A hook, maybe. Yeah, I was thinking like a little box that you could like keep your stitch markers and stuff in. Oh, yeah. There you go. So then, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it with this one because I screwed this one up. But you cover it in contact paper, and then you just 
fold it up and you poke some holes. I used a hole punch on this one, which was fine. It worked fine. I used a grommet punch on this one, which worked even better. Nice, but you don't really need a grommet punch. And then you just feed the little ribbon through and then you can recycle a bunch of cardboard and just think like you could give your friends like little gifts and yeah. all. If you have a knitter in your life, you could give them a whole little like tiny project, like a sock project. Oh yeah, they definitely be good for like little kits. Wouldn't that be so you know? cute? Yeah. I, th I think they're really cute too, guys. I feel like Asia's slightly underwhelmed by them, but I actually find them really cute. <laughs> I mean, comparatively to what normally we find in there, like the bleach. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm jars. really, really, really happy that it's not a fruit gelatin mold with some sort of assorted vegetable for no reason. Yeah. I'm very happy that it's this and not that. How this really started was I was telling her, we're like, we have to make something out of there someday. And so far she's vetoed all the foods. So. No, yeah, yeah, I don't think that that's gonna... I mean, once in a while there's something basic in there. Like, there were some crepes in this same issue mm -hmm. some of those were also distressing like why would you do that to a crepe like yeah. turkey and gravy or something oh. yeah <laughs> but some were basic you know like chantilly cream like that's fine yeah sure yeah yeah but um we're probably not gonna make crepes because we're not in the kitchen for this yeah no <laughs> so. we see more on the crafts here at so here now Vidal. once again judge it um, against a jello mold. Yeah, wow, it's amazing. It's perfect. It's uh, the blood of my life, honestly. Ev everything's relative, guys. That's <laughs> what we want you to know. Everything is relative. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that, that, that's, that's kind of that one. I, yeah. I think all we have to do is figure out what these yarns would say, Asia. Okay. Oh, wow. I honestly was going to make one of the bigger ones and shove... Dolores in it so that you would open it and then Dolores would pop out but that one wasn't quite big enough for Dolores. Uh, yes. Well, Because even though she's the littlest one you know the chickens are pretty girthy. Yeah they've got some heft to them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just think it's so cute. Do you want what ra what yarn? Oh do I you... want these these rainbow ones. I kind of figured that's yeah. why I got them out. She knew. I'm, I'm gonna use um the yarn I'm using is, <laughs> I didn't even tell you. This is cracking. Ooh, those are very pretty. And I know it's, it's dumb. And really we should say that all the yarns say this and that would be so boring. But Kraken just says, knit with me now. It just, oh. it, it does. You know, it's simple. It's, it's simple and luxurious. Oh, it's so nice. I don't actually even know if my contrast was big enough in this one, but I really wanted to use Kraken, so... There, there we go. are. What do your yarns say? Oh, um, well, my yarns say, love is love and celebrate pride. <laughs> All of June. All of and June. And they're probably going to keep talking. All of June. All of June. Nice. Yay! Yay! That's awesome. I guess I better clear off and see if these... These, these cats kids are want ready. some, uh, some... And then I'm going to go have to wash off my eyeballs. <laughs> Don't you guys wish this time of year you just had, like, little tiny windshield wipers for your eyeballs? Yeah. Don't you feel like that? Sure. Like, just some little mechanism that could squirt the, no, the no, eye drops no, off no, the no, go, no, ah, no, ah, no, ah. no. I know a lot of you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I just, I just think it might be a good invention. Mm -hmm. Maybe they can add it to the eye. What are they? Lasix? No, the eye glasses. What are they? I, you know how uh, Apple made those like Apple glasses. What are they? I don't know. I don't know. There's those weird glasses. Apple Vision. Maybe that could be it. I'm so up on things, guys. So up on all the tech and yeah, I'm really amazing. <laughs> So, we'll see if these kids want some treats. What a man, what a man, what a moony man. There he is. Go over 
over here. Wow. So they can Once again, see your should we try it? One. There we go. <laughs> He's too close. One, two, three. I can't do it. He's too close. <laughs> Close and personal. Oh. He's very, he's hungry today, apparently. Oh. Again. You know, this always happens. Yeah. Cat no. people, please tell me how annoying it is One, when you have to switch two, your cat's food. <laughs> you commiserate with me a little bit. We've had a, oh, 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 poor Chloe. She's Louise. You know, he's a. Uh, she's focused, though. Come here. Go. Okay. You want this one too? Come on. You can have that one too. All right. <laughs> Psycho. He's a Psycho, Psycho killer. Kiss, kiss, say. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> I love how he just sort of spins. Run, run, off. run, 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 run away. <laughs> oh, Mooney. You're a very excitable boy. He also eats him off the floor, and he licks so much he leaves like an entire. Yeah, he leaves drill drool puddles. Of it's so gross. gross. So great. So gross. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's it, guys. If you like the podcast, <laughs> give us a little <laughs> thumbs up. Maybe leave a comment, and uh, make sure you check out the next video because mm -hmm. it's going to be. Brioche Mobius. Yes. And you're going to love it. And you're going to want to practice all summer. So I did feel a little like, oh, God, am I wasting this cool thing on summer when, like, so many people aren't knitting as much, mm -hmm. which is so weird. But anyway, um, <laughs> but, you know, I'm going to do it now so that you can, like, practice. Yes. Yeah. Then once, you know, late summer, early fall starts, you can just bang out those call cowls, have, like, awesome gifts. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be good. So. It's going to be a comfy summer and fall. <laughs> and winter. Yeah. And all the time. All those things. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Have a good week. Two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>